If they're constantly targeting as Muslims, then one of his most famous articles, he starts out by talking about how he's like, he's called, it's called, uh, what's it called? Islamic England. I went to a neighborhood in England, and he talked about how uh, Muslims are aware of the top, like the whole place, Muslim garb, that they were making eye contact with the England. There's this like fear around Muslims in the streets, and that when he first saw it, it freaked him out. And ever since then, he's talked about you know terrorist attacks around Islam, never pointing out who's been talking about Islam. Integrated because even their own governments have said the same thing. I mean, Denmark's in the exact same position. They're not seeing an integration of people who would normally, like, normally immigrants come in, they don't demand, like for instance, their foods get moved to schools, they tend to blend in, want to assimilate. And there's a real big problem right now of a lack of assimilation in general in that country. And for someone that's a Westerner who would realize that if you look at almost every major Islamic country, there's probably not one you really want to live in yourself. So not wanting that Islamic culture to be in the West, not Muslims themselves, not, no one's afraid of a reformed Muslim or somebody who believes in it. But somebody who's not embracing the culture and is living against that, wouldn't that maybe kind of st stoke a little bit of questioning at the very least? Well, first, assim you know where the idea of assim assimilation came from. It came from the nativist movement around people that were born in the U.S. that wanted to prevent movement of people coming to the U.S. So that whole idea of is, uh, assimilation has been around for thousands of years. Though. But, I mean, the, but in the U.S., the term is started in the nativist movement. What do you mean for England? No, I was talking about the U.S. You're talking about assimilation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of the ma of like literally of Muslims having a hard time assimilating in certain regions and areas in England is that to us? Even the government is concerned about that they're not even Islamophobic. They let the people in, but they are concerned about people not actually. But how do you how do you know that though? And you know that that Muslim majority countries that a lot of them are vastly different from each other, right? Oh, so course. you're so you're talking about countries that like they're all the same thing. They're all Muslim. Well, there's, there's two major sects. So there's two different sects of Islam. Yeah, primarily. But, but the countries themselves, Muslim majority countries, are vastly different. Saudi Arabia from Iran, Iran from Iraq, Iraq from Saudi Arabia, all these other Muslim majority countries are all vastly different. Right? Is there any Syria. culture in any of these countries that you think is a good culture to replace Western culture? I, I don't know there would, there would ever need to be any replacement. I think everybody can have their own, their own culture. And you can see there are whole cultures and communities that live in and interact with each other and they have no problem interacting with other cultures. That's what we call multiculturalism, right? Where different so cultures... Say, but yeah, but when the cultures aren't interacting, you see increased crime. Even, even Sweden, which previously had been... A That's a white nationalist talking about. It's not a white nationalist talking about. There's been a bombing almost every day in Sweden. In the country. So I'm not... Three I'm not of them yesterday. I'm from Sweden. I have friends that live there who are actually some of the most liberal people in the world. Massively pro-immigration still think that's an absolute problem in the country. Have you ever that's, been that's, to that's a, a Muslim a country? No, I have not. Okay, I lived in a Muslim country. I was married to a Muslim man. My kids are, are half Arab. They were raised around that culture. I have Muslim uh, relatives on my mom's side, both from Egypt and Algeria. And I can tell you that the things that you just read about Islam are very accurate. A couple things he said that he made a mistake on were corrected immediately. Have you been to London? Did, I've been to London. You, have you I've been to London years? and Paris and Washington. I've been to the family. I got eight because I was uncovered. Okay. And I There's bad people in every culture. You can't cover just one person. I was with a Muslim So most majority, so most Muslims act that way. They don't say it. it's a Why would you say that?
ideas. I don't know you very well, so well, I can't tell you whether you're open well, to other ideas. Well, I mean, I mean, she's just saying she's not trying to say whether she's open. She's wanting like literally a world Give view based experience. off of well, not just based off experience, but the actual exposure to the, the inner workings of something, not based off of the media spinning things, but genuinely exposed to a swath of cultures, even in Western cultures and in Muslim cultures. Her understanding, which is why, which is interesting, why a lot of these people want to leave. Oops, is the sorry. point is that there ends up being an authoritarian push on keeping this traditional Islamic culture. Which, for more or less, we have a freedom of religion, and no one's upset about that. But of course, there is even security concerns. There's people, when people are walking in. They are here, yeah. I was like, I thought, I thought you were somebody. But all Muslims have different beliefs, though. Okay, that's but the thing. There are far more Islamists within Muslim countries than there are, say, radical um, Christians or people who do the terror acts within this country. It's, it's far more prevalent. And I'm even, not going to argue that because I don't see Because I had bad experiences at the mosque down here. I had bad experiences at the CSU with other Muslims and American Muslims and I've had um, very frightening experiences in North Africa, but the most, the worst was in the Baton Rouge and Paris. <laughs> and people don't understand that there is a radical Islam that that is far more prevalent than what you guys are willing to admit. I'm not going to argue that. And what, I don't, what I'm not Andy saying that it's said not was accurate. That's how he met. I read his article and I thought, this guy gets it. And I, this is for somebody who's Andy's a propagandist. He's a very okay. dishonest. What he picture. wrote yeah, like about Islam is yeah, correct. He's capable of talking, isn't he? He I've talked about being scared of Muslim questions. Yeah, for Andy. He said it was intimidating. I'll ask him and I'll relay. If you've never seen But you, but you can choose not to support somebody that's dishonest like that. I don't think he's dishonest. I think he's incredibly dishonest. What? I don't think he's dishonest, and I've lived in Muslim countries. One guy oh, sorry, is really that's... that big of a threat to like this entire mass of people in the state. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I mean, everyone's 200. against him because he has 200,000. But why did he get it? Because people attacked him. He was smaller before that happened. So the people that wanted to silence him made him famous. I agree with that. So it's like he didn't do anything to get those views. He got attacked, and then therefore that people realized maybe there's some validity to what he's saying, and then it validated him. So it's like if we didn't want to validate him, which everyone has the right to ignore his tweet, then why attack him if he's so useless and doesn't matter and he was small? Why? So why attack him specifically about how his business Well, that's how I'm saying how he got famous because you're saying like he's a threat because he's big. But then why do you explain? Why make him the twice as big? Because then he wasn't big then and he was attacked. So then why? So then the size isn't why people hate him. 